In today's video, I'm going to tell you about a wonderful tree called the starfruit tree. Uh, its scientific name is Carambola. I think it originated in the Philippines. Uh, it's a tropical tree, very sensitive to freezes. It's another one of my favorite trees. I have a lot of favorite fruit trees. Uh, it grows quite well in Central Florida, South Florida, no problem. First, I'm going to tell you about growing it. Uh, in terms of propagating it, growing it from seeds is an easy and good way to do it. If you take the, the seed out of a fresh picked piece of fruit, uh, it, it will be viable for about two or three days, I've read, and that, that proves out in my experimentation with it, trying to, to grow them from seed. They seem to sprout with uh, a high, high frequency. You just plant them about two inches deep in good potting soil and you'll see a sprout come up within a week or so. Then uh, grow it up until it's got woody bark on it. That's what I do for about a half a year, a year, uh, and then transplant it into the ground, keep it protected, and uh, it will grow up. It is salt, salt sensitive. It does not like salt water on its leaves. It does not require pruning really at all, except for some of the branches will die. I'll show you if I can zoom in maybe on some, see there's some dead branches in here. You just kind of break those off. You don't even really need to have a trimmer to do that. Uh, it is a small tree. It does not grow very tall or wide, which is really nice. That's why you can see I got it right next to my house and it's not a problem at all. It's a fairly fast grower, even though it doesn't get very tall. Uh, it, in terms of the fruit, the fruit is kind of, uh, it's hard to describe the, the smell. It's a very, very fragrant fruit. It smells really, really good. It's oxalic acid is what the smell is and uh, is what mostly consists of, uh, what it mostly consists of. The fruit is not extremely sweet, but it's sweet enough, and uh, we love to eat it. You know, the thing to do is is to cut it and uh, and serve it. If you cut it sideways, it has the shape of a, a star, which is why it's called star fruit. Uh, there are lots of varieties. You want to make sure that you pick a variety that's sweet, because there's a lot of varieties that almost taste like water, even a little bitter, which is not what you want at all. So you want to be careful, try to really pick a variety that is going to be sweet enough. You probably talk to your, your nursery or, or try to really pick out one that is uh, a little bit sweeter than the rest. You can see mine is just loaded with fruit, even though it's small, it's more fruit than I can possibly eat. We give a lot of it away and uh, it ends up eventually, some of it falling on the ground no matter what you do. This tree gives fruit in the winter time. It's December right now, mid-December, and I'd say about half the fruit on the tree is ripe. It comes in, you know, all ripe at once, so it's the kind of thing you want to be ready to just pick it and and uh, and give it, so that you don't have have it wasted. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video about the amazing starfruit tree, exotic starfruit tree. We have plenty more videos on our channel, uh, Eat Your Backyard. Please come check it out, subscribe, we'd love to have you, and uh, I hope you enjoy our future videos. I'm going to make another video that has to do with uh, preparing, eating the starfruit, just the basics of that. Okay, thanks for watching.